Hey, this is Andrew at Bullet Train, and I wanted to demo a feature for you that we've just released. Users now have the ability to automatically sign in, create accounts, or add as an integration to their account any OAuth provider provided by OmniAuth. By default, what we implement is Twitter and Facebook, but you can use that code as a template for other things like Shopify or Stripe, or really any of the hundreds of gems that are available for integrating with third-party services. This makes it possible to quickly launch apps that serve sometimes niche communities where you can provide some additional functionality to a service that they're already using. Now, this might seem super simple. You've probably used Twitter or Facebook as a uh, account that you've used to sign into some other service. And so you think, okay, we're just gonna go to the sign up page, we're gonna click the button, and then we'll be authenticated. But actually, these workflows are a little bit nuanced because there are a lot of challenges that can come up along the way when somebody's using OAuth to sign into your account. And that really is what Bullet Train is providing. OmniAuth provides a very good uh, sort of solution to the challenge of exchanging tokens and communicating with a third party service. What it doesn't provide is how does that process fit into your sign up, your sign in, your onboarding, and your account management processes in your application. And so we want those workflows, even when something goes wrong, to be very smooth, to look good, and that's the value that Bullet Train provides. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna click on sign up and you'll see that we've configured a Facebook and a Twitter application to be connected in this bullet train app via the API keys that are configured in the environment. So you see the option to sign up with Facebook. When I click on sign up with Facebook, I haven't granted permission to this application yet to see my data from Facebook. So Facebook asks me if I wanna do that. If I cancel, I'll go back to the bullet train homepage, but in this case, I wanna continue as Andrew. Now here's one challenge that can come up in the normal OAuth workflow. Sometimes a user has set their permissions on Facebook such that you don't receive their email address automatically. I'm one of those users. The same is true on Twitter if a user hasn't verified their email address yet. It won't be shared back to your application because of the, the um, potential for that to be like a, a, an attack vector for somebody to create an account with somebody else's email address by creating a fake account on Twitter or something like that. So this is something that happens commonly and it was something that we needed to create a new onboarding step for. So in this case, you can see that we've added a new step to the onboarding that allows you to ask them or it will automatically ask them what their email address is. In this case, I'm gonna type in my email address and this, you may have encountered this on other services when you've done this before, but watch what happens when I try to put in my email address. That's too bad. The email address you're trying to use is already associated with another account. Now, this is potentially a way that somebody could break into somebody else's account. So in this case, um, if an OAuth provider is uh, feeding that email address back in, or if that account already uh, exists, we don't want to automatically associate this new OAuth account with that user's account. What that user would have to do is go sign in as that user and then add the ability to log in via OAuth. This is simply a security concern uh, that we want to address and we have addressed in Bullet Train. So I'm gonna go ahead and associate a new account uh, at with, or a new email address with this Facebook account. And you can see now that it's asking us to sign up which we'll do with a test credit card. And it's asking us with our regular onboarding step, some more information about us. And now we're in the bullet train dashboard. I'll show you one more example of a complication that can come up when somebody's signing into your application with OAuth. I'm gonna log in. And in this case, I'm gonna use my Twitter account to sign in and it's gonna ask me to authorize the app. Now what happens is when I bounce back to the app, it did return the email address that I uh, is associated with my Twitter account, but the problem is there's already a user in the system that has that email address. So like I mentioned before, this would potentially be a way to break into somebody's account. We have to stop the user from trying to sign into an existing user account 
uh, with a Twitter account that happens to have the same email address. So in this case, we can't create the new user with the new email with the same email address. We simply ask them, you need to sign in with that email address first and then add this Twitter account to that account. So here's the real demo that you came to see, which is the ease of signing in to an account with OAuth. And your users have signed in that easily. Our hope really is that by providing a well-polished Twitter and Facebook sign-up workflow, knowing that you can take that code and use it as a template for all the other OAuth providers out there, that it will be easier for you to launch new products and services into those software ecosystems. So if you have an idea of some new value or some novel feature that you could bring to one of these software ecosystems, Bullet Train makes it easy for you to just focus on your unique idea. Don't worry about all the scaffolding, all of the connecting accounts, the sign up, sign in, all of that. Don't worry about the time that it's going to take you to implement all of that. Just focus on the new thing that you can bring to the Twitter, Facebook, Shopify, Stripe ecosystem, or any of the other OmniAuth integrations that are available. If you have any questions about how this works, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for your time today.